What if we combine the power of generative fill with After Effects content aware fill? Will my computer blow up? Let's find out. All right, I wanna change this sign. So I'm started out in After Effects and I have my clip of a hitchhiker clearly trying to get to the city by any means necessary. First, I'm gonna motion track this sign. There's a few ways you could do it, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna use Boris FX Mocha to track. I'll go to animation and track in Boris FX Mocha. And I'll click on the Mocha icon in my effects control panel and Mocha will pop up. And in Mocha, I'll grab my X spline tool and I'll just outline the word city here. Once I let go of the mask on the left hand side, I'll click on show surface and then I'll click on align surface to make it the full size of the comp. Finally, I'll click on track forward and we'll speed this up for you. The track looks great as usual. So I'll save it in Mocha. Now I'm all done in Mocha and I'll jump back to After Effects. So my effect control panel, I'll drop down my tracking data, which I'll use later and my mat drop down as well. In my mat drop down, I'll click on create masks. Now it'll create a mask based on the tracking data gathered from Mocha. I'll change the mask property to none for now. Okay, so now I have my tracking data and I'll just have to remove this text. I'll jump over to my content aware fill panel. Usually I would change my mask to subtract and click on generate fill layer, but this is a little more complex due to the lighting on the cardboard. So I'll just keep my mask at none. My fill method, I'll keep it surface and I'll keep lighting correction checked at strong, which will actually help recreate the lighting that changes throughout the footage. I'll show you a before and after later of what this actually does. So now I'll make what's called a reference frame in Photoshop by clicking on create reference frame. And once I click that, it'll open right up in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna use the power of generative fill to remove the words, creating a nice clean plate on this cardboard sign. So I'll start and I'll click on select and mask and I'll carefully select each letter, trying not to select any of the background cardboard. Once I have this selected, I'll make sure my output on the right-hand side is on selection. Okay, you'll see each letter selected, and in my contextual taskbar, I'll expand the selection by 10 pixels, and I'll hit delete, and the letters are removed. So now we'll just expand about five pixels more, so there's no overlap. And once that's all selected, I'll click on Generative Fill, leaving the prompt box blank. I'll click Generate, and the software should automatically pick up what we're trying to do. And it does, actually an option too, so I'll use that one. So from here, I'll save, and I'll jump right back to After Effects. Ordinarily, one reference frame should be fine, but for this, since the lighting changes throughout the clip, I'll do another one here, right in the middle of the timeline, just doing the exact same thing, so I'll fast forward this a bit. Now I have both reference frames here. So I'll go back to my video layer mask and change it to subtract. And then in my content aware fill menu, you'll see it's in the fill target box. So keeping all the settings like this, I'll click on generate fill layer and fast forward this for you. Now you can see how perfectly this created a clean plate for us. So the lighting and everything is well done, but remember how we selected lighting correction here? Here's what it would look like before and after using that setting. Big difference, right? Okay, now the fun part. So we have text here that we generated and we could actually track using the same Mocha settings that we used earlier. So I'll click on my video layer on the bottom and I'll jump back to effect controls. And instead of using that dropdown, I'll use the tracking data dropdown. And I'll click create track data and okay. And layer export to, I'll make sure my text layer is selected. And I'll hit apply export. And I'll adjust my anchor point on my text layer here to move it where I want. And there we have it, useful tools in combination to create great composites. And no, my computer didn't blow up.